I was trained as an architect and a jazz musician. So my work tries to combine those two disciplines. It's this idea of trying to, and sometimes, make architecture more alive, more spontaneous, by bringing uh, music into it, light, or uh, different physical components, really to try to make what I call a physical music. This most recent piece, Harmonic Convergence, which is at the Miami International Airport, takes advantage of some of the most recent technologies in colored glass construction, mixed with the sound score that I created from the Florida Everglades and other natural environments. I thought the best time to premiere it would be during Art Basel. From there, I sort of mushroomed, well, if we're gonna do this, then it would be good to have an exhibition that talks about the backstory of my work. When we secured this great space here in uh, the Miami Design District, then I said, well, let's do the old piece, Touch My Building, where you actually walk up and touch parts of the building and it lights up and triggers sound. In addition, there are texts that are written on the glass that are quotes from both artists and musicians, from Ray Charles to Picasso. My architectural installations, most of which I call the Urban Musical Instruments as a series, they're really trying to use light and color and sound to add different dimensions to an architectural space. I've had the opportunity to, to put these kinds of works in many, many different places, from parking garages to airports, to subway stations. By putting art in the public sphere is to try to give people an aesthetic experience in their everyday life.